Lucky may sue the company that's responsible for a massive security breach involving every city employee. New at 10, the mayor is fuming. He talked with Annie Scholes tonight. Annie? Mike, the city is filing a civil rights complaint saying Dynacare violated HIPAA rules when they failed to secure the personal information of more than 9,000 people. And there's already talk the city could take it even farther than this. Peggy Luca was one of thousands of city employees whose personal information was jeopardized after a thumb drive was stolen from a Dynacare employee's car. When the city learned of the theft, it took action. I did go on the website that they offered us to make sure that my identity was protected, so I'm grateful that they are taking the steps. The latest step is a formal complaint filed with the Federal Office of Civil Rights against Dynacare. I don't think there's a person in this community who thinks that it's excusable that this information was on a flash drive in an unsecured manner in a car. Here's what happened. The city has a contract with Freighter for an employee wellness program. Freighter then has a contract with Dynacare to implement the program. The mayor says the city gave a drive to Freighter with information that was password protected. The data on that drive was transferred to another one that wasn't password protected. That's the one that was stolen. Dynacare's vice president of finance said in a statement Wednesday, I will concede that it should have been encrypted and that's part of our internal investigation to figure out why it wasn't encrypted. The city is considering a lawsuit. Peggy just wants her peace of mind back. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will not play out to be anything more serious. And a spokesperson for Freighter told me tonight there are no plans right now for them to cut ties with Diana Care. The mayor says they are working on changing their procedures so Social Security numbers will no longer be needed in this process. Live in Milwaukee, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Thank you, Annie. Well,